amazing isn't it? It's the number of biggest stage of the year. It's all the species why I came to this canal. Brilliant. Wow, this is why I took fishing back up again. Good morning. It's almost 7am on Saturday the 13th of May. This is my peg for today. Down at uh, Pelsall Canal, the Whirly Nessington. Just down from the Finger Post pub. I've been meaning to fish here all year. I've been waiting for the tench to start showing. And they've been starting to show more and more as the weather's improved and the temperatures have increased. We've got some reeds down to the left, a bit further down. Lily pads, reeds opposite and trees opposite. And a small patch of lily pads to the right as well. I'm fishing, currently I've got a bomb with a pellet on, I just sung out while I was uh, setting up no indications on that yet but my main target is uh, the maggot feeder I've got red maggots some bloodworm pellets sweet corn and various other wafters uh, I'll be using two rubber maggots and three natural maggots uh, with the maggot feeder um, yeah, well, let's see how we get on. the surface then. I couldn't quite believe my luck, I thought it was going to be in for a long wait, that was less than six minutes in. And it slipped the hook. Well, the hair and the feeding, that is the good sign. It's 8.30 now, I've been fishing for an hour and a half. Not had any indications on the feeder since that tench that I lost after the first seven minutes. So I've set up my whip now to use as well as the feeder. Oh, another bite straight away. Just to keep me entertained while I'm waiting for take on the feeder. So let's see how we get on. I've got four pound main line, three pound hook length and size 20 hook on this whip rig. So it'd be funny if I do get a tench on this one. But I'm already getting bites straight away. interesting because they might have, I've not been getting little touches on the feeder that might not have been indicated. There you go, a little tiny roach. Save my bunk. So let's just hope we uh, I 
I don't miss any takes on the feeder while I'm having fun on the whip. That's my only concern. Another rope, slightly bigger. Nice dark back. Getting slightly bigger each time now. Hmm. Nice, this one's spawning. Lovely. So I've used my little whip net. handle for this little net. A little golden sheen. Lips. Just a longer bottom lip. Oh, I think I'm going to use my proper net for that one. Oh, it's caught on that. Feed a lion. Oh, he's come off. Oh, that's another rud. Back to the roach. Oh, come on. Funny enough, he's top lipped, and a lot of them have been taken a bite in. Maybe just uh, snatched onto it as I lifted it up. So the feeder has been out for 20 minutes without any indications. So I'm changing onto corn on the band with three maggots on the hook and then I'll get feeder. And I've caught a tree. In those 20 minutes on the whip, I've caught. I think it's six roach and two wood. Oh, 
So there are some nice conservation prizes. Let's hope we can rescue some of this end tackle. Now, I've lost the whole lot, I think. Yeah, it's all stuck in the tree. I'm not sure how much time I lost there using that maggot feeder. I've set up again now. Unfortunately, I don't have another maggot feeder. That was my last one, so I've just switched to the bomb now. And I'll focus on just fix, fishing close enough in on the edge of these lilies so they can throw out some loose feed, which, I've been, which is what I've been doing most of the morning anyway, on the rod. that's back out there. I need to make a note to buy some uh, more maggot feeders. Halfway through my five hour session, two and a half hours to go. And as I said just before I lost cast into the tree I'm getting some nice consolation roach and rud. in amongst these lilies. Quite nice to get a tench or a bream on this whip as well, be fun. a bit of a more of a fighter. Is it? What have I got here? Oh, I need to use my net on this one. <laughs> Did I? Maybe half a pound. I say wood, have I guessed it wrong? No, it is wood. Oh, yeah, it's a nice fish. feeling at the moment is wind. This is a nicer feeling fish. Oh yeah, definitely is. What have we got here? Not sure if we're gonna land this one. It's a nice tench. This is my target species. Pretty similar size to the one that rolled on the feed at the very start of the day. No, 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 he's trying to make the escape for it. Oh. I'm shaking. Very nervous. Come on. 
my biggest isn't that isn't it that's, that's my biggest edge of the year the target species why I came to this canal and I've caught him on my light rig on my whip <laughs> that is amazing brilliant wow this is why I took fishing back up again over the moon with that over the moon so I've come back to this canal to find canal tench this is what started my love for the tench in the first place further down by the fishery bridge this is the first one I've caught up this end by the finger post I've only ever fished this section once years and years ago and get some nice photos of him. So what we've got here is my target species, beautiful canal tench. He's uh, got the scales, he just hit the scales at just over three pounds, 3.15 in decimal size. So ticket and to come down this canal on the tank for always my target. It's a really it's a really big achievement for me that a real nice piece of nostalgia catching a tent from along this stretch of canal. I'm expecting smaller roach and wood to be returned now because there's been a bit of a gap of me fishing while I've been landing that and weighing it and taking photos and whatnot. I think this is back to a nice rod again. I sort of lost him then, got caught on a little bit of, there's a little lily pad just in front of me. Yeah, it is lovely golden colour. That's the first one for a while, little roach. Got a bit uh, nervous then because the lily pads were moving as though something was rooting around and the float went down slowly and I thought it was going to be another tench but it's probably one of the smallest roach I've caught today but I've already achieved my goal my target with that one tench so I'm just enjoying myself now Fast. 
and it was slow. Roach about six ounce. Oh, she's a rut again. Just switched up to a double maggot then just for a bit of interest. There's loads and loads of signs of stuff fish around the lilies. I'm not getting quite as many bites as it was. So whether the, some bigger fish have moved in and Scared off the little ones, I don't know. That's what I'm hoping for if one will take my bait. Oh, so kicking off here, they're kind of good. They're kind of the geese. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, <laughs> they're all sacking each other and pretty much flying into me. It's like being on a runway of an airport till I'm here. Turf wars. It's gonna be quite on the fishing front though. Ah, just moved a couple of inches shallower then. Let's bite for a while. Only a little roach, but I mean they've just moved up a bit in the water a little bit. It's still very cold in the air. It's a confident bite. Roach about three or four rounds. left. Yeah. I'll, I'll come here for the tench so I'm pleased, pleased to have got one. Yeah they come out quite often yeah yeah that's why I, that's why I joined here to be honest. So Only five here for the year. Yeah yeah. Wow. So in a lot of places you pay that for a day. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's funny. I mean, because that's what, I got my feeder rod set up for the tench, yeah. and I lost one on it in the first right at the start of the day, first seven minutes. Oh, that's a nice rod. And then I set this up because I wasn't getting any other indications at all on my feeder. 
and they're starting to get a nice little uh, oh it's lovely it's a rud that is a rud that is yeah um I started getting loads of little roach and rud on the whip and then suddenly a tench took it so it's it a good fun fight yeah, right, it was yeah who's come up to your net yeah it's a nice one to end on that is well i've had a great day today on the early essington canal uh, near the finger post in palsal it's uh it's funny that the, the decisions that you make that can take a bad day, turn it into a nice day, and then eventually into a great day. Um, I lost a tench after seven minutes and I thought I was going to really regret that. I've not had a single touch on the feeder rod since then. Um, after an hour and a half I decided to set up my whip and, and use my whip to see if I could get some uh, other smaller fish. While I was waiting for other takes on my feeder rod. Um, started off with smaller roach and rud uh, and then after I think it's a couple of hours fishing I need to check the times I had that uh, lovely three pound two ounce tench on the whip which is good nice fight. Panicking the whole time that just one lunge and he could have just snapped me off but luckily he didn't and that is what made the great day. Since then things did slow down quite a bit. Um, I've had a few, few more road trim rud and then ended on a lovely 14 ounce rud. Uh, all from the same spot just to the, to the right of the lily pads. Just about the limits I could reach on my three metre whip. So like I say just that decision to set up that whip really turned that day from a, a bad day to a great day. My intentions this season um, were to catch a canal tench and I've caught a canal tench, three pounds, two ounce one at that. So I'm really chuffed. Um, my next plan when I'm on this canal next is to set up a, a retro 80s and 90s um, waggler setup with a, an old uh, Normark rod and a Shakespeare reel and fish a peg further down this section. Um, in Fishley, uh, where I caught a tench uh, over 30 years ago. So let's hope we can do repeat that. But for now, I'm going really to chuffed. Five pound a year to fish this section. So money well spent just in one session alone.